O oh Lord, I trust in your merciful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful to me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Uh, good Most morning, course. everyone. Love your enemies, Jesus tells us, challenging society's values and even common sense. Why should we love those who have hurt us? Well, one of the greatest gifts we can give is our mercy. We may feel that our enemy doesn't deserve our mercy, but it can help to realize that it is God's mercy that we extend. That is, and it's God's mercy that counts. Let's think of those whom we've wronged and pray that we can be instruments of God's mercy in their lives. And with this thought in mind, dear brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you heal this, the sin and division that grips our lives. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you redeem us and restore us 
to holiness. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show compassion to those who place their trust in you. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel. In those days, Saul went down to the desert of Zip with 3,000 picked men of Israel to search for David in the desert of Zip. So David and Abishal went among Saul's soldiers by night and found Saul lying asleep within the barricade with his spear thrust into the ground at his head and Adnar and his men sleeping around him. Abishai whispered to David, God has delivered your enemy into your grasp this day. Let me nail him to the ground with one thrust of the spear. I will not need a second thrust. But David said to Saul, do not harm him, for who can lay hands on the Lord's anointed and remain unpunished? So David took the spear and the water jug from their place at Saul's head. And they got away without anyone seeing or knowing or awakening. All remained asleep because the Lord had put them into a deep slumber. Going across to an opposite slope, David stood on a remote hilltop at a great distance from Abnar, son of Ner, and the troops. He said, here is the king's spear. Let an attendant come over to get it. The Lord will reward each man for his justice and faithfulness. Today, though the Lord delivered you in my grasp, I will not harm the Lord's anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and, and merciful. merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind, kind and, and merciful. merciful. He pardons all your inequities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, cr crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord, the Lord is, is kind, kind and, and merciful. merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requit us according to our crimes. The Lord, Lord is kind, kind and merciful. merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put out transgressions from us. As a father, his compassion on his children so that the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord, Lord is kind, kind and, and merciful. merciful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam, 
a life-giving spirit. But the spiritual was not first, rather than the natural, and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, earthly, the second man from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly, and as in the heaven one, so also are the heavenly. Just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also veil the image of the heavenly one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have your blessing. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may proclaim the Holy Gospel both worthily and well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, to you who hear, I say, love your enemies, do good, and those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And for the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who ask of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those for whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked be merciful as your father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give, the gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we've all heard the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. It's a wonderfully simple phrase that captures the life of the disciple of Christ. Even the youngest of children can understand its meaning. And as we age through the years, it never ceases to guide and correct us in how we should treat others. Jesus, was, of course, is our model for living the golden rule. Throughout the Gospels, he teaches that our power to perform good deeds comes not from ourselves, but from God the Father in cooperation with the Holy Spirit. And without this wellspring of grace, we become starved of our ability to show mercy and to care for others. Unfortunately, we can see this famine of goods all around, goodwill rather, all around. God yearns to share his love, but he cannot do so through small hearts. However, when we nurture our friendship with Christ, God's abundant grace will be able to act more fully in our homes, our places of work, our parishes, our church, and our world. By inviting God to live within us, we are then able to give generously to others, even beyond what we ourselves have received. Now, this supernatural faith 
becoming concrete in our actions is the inspiration for this year's Archdiocesan Annual Appeal theme, From God's Abundance, Our Gifts of Charity. When your gift to the Archdiocesan Annual Appeal is born of God's abundance in your heart, is infused with grace to strengthen the more than 70 ministries supported by your gift as they serve people throughout our local church. This includes our work to defend and promote the dignity of life in all its stages, our education of children in the faith, our catechetical formation of new Catholics, for our formation of seminarians and promotion of vocations, our support of priests and religious, our care for the earth, our common home, our celebration of the diverse ethnic communities of this archdiocese, and many more charitable works made possible by your gift. Ultimately, the choice of whether to give or how much to give is left to each of us to decide. The same is true of any time talent or treasure we share with each other. May you also be inspired by that well-known prayer attributed to St. Francis of Assisi, our patron, which encourages that it is in giving that we receive. So in this spirit, please join me, and I'm speaking on behalf of Cardinal Gregory, in saying that, in prayerfully making a gift to the annual Archdiocese and Annual Appeal today. Your gift brings hope to those who need it, and supports them so that together with God's abundant love can transform our hearts and our world. Thank you for your gift and for your life of faith. God bless those and those you love. So we move into the next phase of this now. On behalf of Cardinal Gregory, I thank all of you who've already given this year to the Archdiocese and Annual Appeal. I also thank those of you who have given in the past years. By donating to the Archdiocese and Annual Appeal, you support more than 70 ministries of our Archdiocese, many of which benefit our own parish. It bears repeating each year that the Archdiocese and Annual Appeal donations are restricted, meaning that your donation can only be used for the ministries outlined in the case for support, it will not be used for any other purposes, including legal or administrative fees. I'm asking all of our families to make a commitment this year it's not the size of the gift, but the amount of the sacrifice that matters. I'm also happy to inform you that starting this year, a portion of the funds raised over our parish goal will be returned to the parish in support of our parish ministry life. So I thank you for your commitment today. I will walk you briefly through two ways of, of making your 2020 Archdiocese and Annual Appeal Pledge. The first and preferred method of giving is by using your smartphone, if you have one, and by visiting give.adw.org. Again, that website is give.adw.org. For those participating through our live stream mass, you can also visit give.adw.org at this time. Uh, when you navigate to that page, let me also mention that those of you who did not receive a commitment envelope in the mail, but would like to receive one, looks like this. I invite you to contact the parish office. We'd be glad, happy to send you one. And the phone number for the parish office and the rectory is 301-840-1407. Let me repeat that, 301-840-1407. This is the second way to make a gift. Now let me go back to the first way. Uh, for those of you who are completing your pledge online, you'll find a drop-down menu of parishes in the Archdiocese. Please choose our parish, St. Francis of Assisi, Durwood, and click on Give Now. That, and that will take you to the pledge form. The first thing that you will do once you have chosen our parish is to create your donation. There are three options, an annual pledge, a one-time gift, or a monthly sustaining gift. You will then choose the pledge amount and frequency of payment. The parish field at the bottom of the section should already show our parish. Uh, you know, please, if it's, hopefully it says St. Francis of Assisi. After you've created your donation, you will complete your donation in the next section. Please be sure that your information is accurate so that you'll 
receive timely payment reminders and letters of acknowledgement. Finally, you'll be asked to complete your payment information. You can set up your pledge with a credit card or a bank account today. You may, you may also choose the Bill Me Later option, that is to make your pledge now and determine your method of payment at a later date. So on behalf of Cardinal Gregory and the Charitable Works of our Archdiocese supported by your gift, thank you for your generosity. I invite those of you at home, if you would, please stand with me now as we make our profession of faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born to the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were created. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord, you are both kind and merciful, weighing not our sins, but blessing us with your grace. Fill our hearts with faith as we place these petitions before you. The response is we pray to the Lord for the church that through its teaching and example, the faithful, faithful will be inspired to not judge, to forgive, and to give with great measure. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and world leaders, the diplomacy may diffuse confrontations and violence to foster peace, especially with the conflict in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the support of the 2022 Archdiocese Annual Appeal, that in thanksgiving for the blessings we have received, we will help those in need in the Archdiocese. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear <coughs> our prayer. For reflection on the plight of others, especially Afri African Americans during Black History Month. May our hearts be open to see the richness of all of God's children and end racism in all forms. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from COVID-19 and for the medical workers who care for the ill and most vulnerable of afflicted by the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who need prayers, for the request in our parish book of petitions, for our own intentions in each of our hearts, for the servicemen and women whose names appear in the gathering space, for those on the St. Francis prayer chain, and for all those who have no one else to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick in mind and body, especially Jeannie Kavinsky and Mara Bata, that they may be healed according to the Father's will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Maria Scatrio, God, grandmother of Alex Scatrio, and for their family members and friends who continue to mourn their passing, and for the parishioners of St. Francis, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, Hear these prayers and touch our hearts to recognize you and your many blessings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. For it is the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. For through the vine and work of human hands, we become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name for our good, good of all his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty we may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the Lord be with you, with your spirit. And Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. By our voices we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of exalt praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you've created rightly gives you praise. For three years on our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration. They may become the body and blood, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we put out for you for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May it make of us an eternal offering to you, for we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Peter Damien, St. Francis of Assisi, our holy patron, and with all the saints on his constant intercession to your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Please to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Wilton our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, 
the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Lord, I pray the brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. That we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord. We bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace and love. Please do. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world, lest are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen. Blood of Christ. Amen. Lord, I've come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God who is coming into this world. This time we'll make our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Mm-hmm. 
following announcements. <clears throat> On Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022, Maryland representatives will participate in a hearing to consider a new abortion amendment for the state that would enshrine abortion rights into the Maryland Constitution. While abortion is already generally legal in Maryland, this constitutional amendment would ensure that no future laws can restrict abortion for any reason in order to stop this bill from becoming law. Immediately action is needed. To make your voice heard on this issue, contact your representatives immediately to tell them that you, that you are opposed to the Maryland Abortion Amendment and the Pregnant Persons Freedom Act. Please visit the Maryland Catholic Conference website, www.mdcatholic.org slash legislator lookup to search for your delegate and to find their contact information. Your voice can help to prevent this legislation from advancing beyond committee, but we all need to act now. Did you know that our parish is compiling a new picture directory as we celebrate our 50th anniversary this year? Sign up for an appointment to have a professional photographer take a picture of you or your family on March 22nd or 23rd in the rectory or April 27th or 28th in the parish center for inclusion in the directory. You can register at the link on the homepage of the parish website www.sfaadw.org. Please sign up. Our directory will not be the same without you. A member of the 50th Anniversary Planning Committee will also be in the gathering space after the 5 p.m. vigil, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. masses to help people sign up. The St. Martin Food Pantry needs the following items this week. Canned soup, pasta sauce, canned beans, run-ins such as cookies, crackers, pasta roni, and rice roni. It would also welcome Similac Blue baby formula, diapers in sizes five and six, Pedasure and Ensure for adults. Plastic newspaper bags and plastic and paper grocery bags are also needed. Currently, the pantry has sufficient supplies of canned vegetables except for canned corn. Please place any donations in the St. Martin Food Pantry box or in, the only, or in the overflow bin in the gathering space. Thanks for supporting the St. Martin Food Pantry. And lastly, the parish office will be closed on Monday, February 21st in observance of President's Day. It will, it will reopen at 8 a.m. on Tuesday, February 26th. <clears throat> Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Bow for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And let the church say amen. Amen. May let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. And again, let the church say amen. Amen. May he turn his countenance toward you and give you his peace. And again, let the church say amen. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down to you. May you do forever. And again, let the church say amen. amen. This celebration is ended. Let us go in peace to both love and serve the Lord and each other. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.